Welcome everyone to my channel. I'm Mary. Today's episode is going to be about understanding fertilization and the cleavage process. I'm going to use pictures to clarify the embryologic development. As you see here, the first picture shows us the fertilization or the conception process which involves the fusion of the male and the female gamete to form the diploid cell that is called the zygote. Here is the penetration of the sperm to the, uh, to, to the ovum and here is the diploid cell that is called the zygote. Here we have very important part about the sperm. We should concentrate on it. We have the sperm. The sperms cannot fertilize or do not have the ability to fertilize the egg uh, or the ovum right after ejaculation unless they pass through the capacitation process. Then the fertilization, then the division uh, begins uh, and, uh, and uh, this uh, process uh, called the cleavage process till uh, the zygote uh, passes through these cell stages, two cell stage, four cell stage, eight cell stage, until it be become 16, about 16 cell, uh, here we call them merula. Why, why we call them as merula? Because this structure itself resemble a mulberry, a mulberry. And as the division continues, here's the compacted merula, and as the division continues, as it enters to the uterine cavity, here, we have uh, the, the cavity will be formed inside the merula with hollow ball of cell called blastocyst. Blastocyst begins about five days after fertilization process. Here is the blastocyst and thereafter there will be uh, um, there will be implantation of the blastocyst itself into the endometrium of the uterine wall where it will undergo later developmental process include gastrulation. As the division of the zygote continues and the merula has been formed, then as we said there will be a cavity will be formed inside uh, the, uh, the merula and we, uh, we have called this uh, structure as a blastocyst. Uh, inside the blastocyst we have a cavity filled with a fluid. The fluid with the cavity is called a blastocyst. Okay, so we have the outer cell mass. The outer cell mass is called the uh, trophic toderm and uh, it is the first epithelium in the embryo is to be formed and this will form the placenta in the future. While some cells are trapped inside the cavity of the blastocyst and uh, these uh, called embryonic stem cells or they are the intracellular mass. They are the embryonic proper. Why we call them embryonic proper? Because they will give rise to the stem cells. This stem cell will give rise to the, as we see here, to the blood cells, to the neurons, to the pancreatic cell and to the muscle. Here we have three parts of a blastocyst. We have the outer cell mass that we call them as trophic toderm. And as we said, we have the inner cell mass and we have the blastocyst cavity. Here is some review, this picture for the review of the uh, cleavage process. We have the mitosis at the, day, uh, at the second day and we have the merula and then we have the blastocyst. We said at the uh, day five, right after fertilization, the blastocyst will be formed and we discuss about its uh, three parts. Here is also a, a picture for review only. And we explain this. Um, thank you for watching. Next, inshallah, the, it will be about implantation. See you.